we see various kinds of animals around us. Ants, mosquitoes, sparrows, cats, dogs, oxen, horses, to elephants and whales. Some are very small and some are large. Some live on land, some live on water, some in the air, crawling. Some have feathers, hair or scales on their bodies. There is a lot of variation even among these animals. It is impossible to study each and every species of animals. But if we think of their similarities and differences and put them in groups and subgroups, that is, if we classify them, it is easier to study the animal kingdom. When you go to a shopping mall, there are boards indicating where to find which things. For example, grocery section is on the first floor, clothing on second floor, all electronic things on third floor, etc. is displayed. Say you want to buy clothes and you go to the second floor. There will be separate sections for men, women and children. Even in these western clothes, conventional clothes will be separated. If you are buying western clothes, there will be sections for trousers, shirts and t-shirts. They may be further grouped according to the brands. In short, to find your desired object accurately, it takes a little time. Things have been classified here. So, if we classify animals according to the similarities and differences, it will become easier to study the massive number of animals. Benefits of classification it becomes easier to identify animals. It helps to relate that animal to other living beings and get information about their evolution. We get information about the habitat of each animal, its exact place in nature and its adaptation. Many scholars have used different methods to classify animals based on various criteria. For example, conventional method, natural method, method based on theory of evolution. According to the conventional method of classification of animals, animals have been divided into two parts, depending upon presence or absence of the notochord. First, non-chordates and second, chordates. Non-chordates. The body is not supported by a rod-like notochord. Pharyngeal gill slits are absent. Nerve cord, if present, is on the ventral side. It is solid and paired. Heart, if present, it is on the dorsal side. Chordates, the body is supported by notochord. Pharyngeal gill slits or lungs are present for respiration. Nerve cord is present on dorsal side of the body. It is hollow. Heart is present on the ventral side of body. Non-chordates are divided into 10 phyla, protozoa, porifera, nidaria, platyhelminthes, ashhelminthes, annelida, arthropoda, mollusca, echinodermata and hemichordata. Chordates are divided into 3 phyla, urochordata, cephalochordata and vertebrata. Phylum vertebrata is divided into 6 subphyla. Cyclostomata, Pisces, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves, and Mammalia. 